Hi guys. So it is Thursday and I finished Shadow Glass. Um, it was okay. I definitely preferred the second one, but the third one did come in second place out of the trilogy. Um, I had a good time. It was nice. Um, and I think it would be really good. It was kind of borderline maybe grim fantasy like borderline intro maybe but it definitely had more from what i could pick up more asian terms and feels um but all in all it was pretty good the pacing of the first book was like really weird and then the second and third book, it kind of evened out a bit, which was good, which definitely allowed me to read the story more, and yeah, definitely liked that. So, I focused on Anna Green Gables today, finished it, and... I'm not going to continue with the other two books that I have. I'm sticking by my guns with that. And um, it was a good experience. I definitely prefer the TV show. But reading the book was a good experience. Because it's kind of like they crammed all three seasons into one book. So I don't feel the need to like go any further. But I prefer the show. It was definitely. But... And I think I'm a little out of its age range. Maybe. But it was a good experience. And I had a good time. Um, so, yeah. So that's that. I'll be moving on with sequel to The Prince of Foxes, Lord of Horses. And the story of Merlin, which is the second book in the <sighs> Lancelot Vulgate cycle that I have. This one's a bit bigger. Um, so I'll be excited for that. And I have this feeling I'll probably finish Lord of the Horses within the next couple of days and move on to the third book in the trilogy and then probably still be reading the story of Merlin into next week and yeah this clip is kind of going on forever so I'm gonna sum it up there and I will see you next time bye hi guys so not a book update it's Saturday I haven't started reading anything any of my new books yet i'm kind of taking a little bit of a break and i did some visiting yesterday now that i've been feeling better so but i got more books for my book haul i'm still waiting on at least one um which is pliny's letters and accounts of the eruption of mount vesuvius they had to order that one um but i got the atlantis papyrus which is the first book in a series i got a lot of first books in series see if i would like them clearing out my camera roll storage um and my amazon wish list uh Past Legends, the first book in the Camelot Immortals series. If you can't tell, I love King Arthur. But I was also looking into more Mesopotamian, Sumerian, like, mythology-based background settings for books as well. Um, I'll come back to that one in a second. Uh, the Fifth Night which is also K 
Camelot. And then there's this one, Living With Your Past Selves. No, it is not a self-help book. Um, it looks really good, actually. You can pause it here if you want to read it. Um, but it looks interesting. I'm always into reincarnation and things like that as well. Um, the Tablets of Destinies, which is basically they're living in the Akkadian Empire and they're going and plundering Sumerian treasures. Um, which, unless you're a history major like me, or you just took ancient civilizations in like seventh grade for history class, um, Sumer, the city states of Su the Sumerian city states, came before the Akkadian Empire. Um, and the Sumerian city-states are, as records, the oldest civilization. The cradle of civilization. Not the cradle of Western civilization. That's Greece. That's still Greece. But the cradle, or Egypt. I think it's Greece. I could be wrong. But, yeah, and I totally went off on a tangent with that one. And then I got popular epics of the Middle Ages of the Norse, German, and Carolingian cycles. Um, <clears throat> Middle Ages, Norse, German, which would be like the Norse, the Nordic tribes, Germanic, um, <clears throat> tribes that descended from like the Celtic cultures a bit, uh, something like that. And the Carolingians, they ruled france at one point during the middle ages before france actually became like an empire um you've probably heard of them but i'm also having a brain fart right now <laughs> on what that is and then so I got this. I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. Another part to like the Iliad, like cycle story thing going on, right? There was no picture. There was no description. As far as I knew, you know, it'd be a really good book. I get the book. It's in Latin. Um, which... I know some words in Latin, but am I fluent in Latin? Can I just read a whole book in Latin? The answer is no. I looked through it a little bit last night. Some of the names I'm kind of picking up. I think I know words. I just need to, I guess, push up learning Latin. Um, which, actually, I learned more since I started learning Italian. Spanish, for whatever reason, is really hard for me. But I'm learning Italian really quickly. I know some, like corresponding words and like for like french as well i want to learn romanian i decided to throw in portuguese because if i'm learning all the other romance languages i might as well they're in portuguese um and spanish and portuguese are actually pretty close which isn't surprising if you look on a map their countries are right beside each other but yeah that was a that was supposed to be a quick interlude um but yeah next time It'll be an update. So, see you next time. Bye. Hey guys. So, quick update. I read a couple more chapters of the story of Merlin and the Lord of Horses. Um, just a couple chapters though. Nothing super big. And then I read two arc books today. Uh, the History of Iran and Swim in the Magnificent. Um, and then those were on my phone. Um, and that's it. 
Readings, not much readings going on. Things are kind of hectic at the moment. So, yeah, that's about it for this update. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Quick and final update for this reading vlog. I just made it to chapter eight in the story of Merlin. I'm about one fifth, a little over one fifth of the way through. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, so I will see you next time. Bye.